Hi, this is Julie from New Horizons 123. We're a small business and video marketing company. And I want to show you during this holiday season how you can make a holiday video in about five minutes or less. You need a couple of things. The first thing you need is Windows Movie Maker. If you don't have it, go out and get it because it's free. And I believe the comparable product with a Mac is iMovie and that's also free. The next thing you need is to decide what pictures you want to use and then organize them into one folder. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to just grab them. If you're using images that are not photographs of your family, I may I suggest that you use ones that you have the legal right to use because otherwise you're going to get sued. The ones that I have in here, I got from iClipArt and I do pay an annual subscription for that. So that these are these images. So let me just show you. We start out blank. There's nothing here. Come up here under Add Videos and Photos. And I'm going to select five just to show you. Go back, do the next one. The next one. We're just simply adding photos to our project in Windows Movie Maker. And we'll just stop with this one rather than go through the whole thing. Okay, now you say, well, I don't like that order. I want Happy Holidays to be the first image in the video. So you simply put your mouse on it, hold down the left click button, and drag it over to where you want it. See, wasn't that easy? Now the next thing I want to show you is if you were to do absolutely nothing, it would work, but it would be a little bit boring and choppy. This is what it would look like. It's just kind of boring. It's not doing anything. And notice how when it goes into the next image, it's like, whoop, there it goes. Now the way to change that is two ways. One is you come up here under animations. So for the opening of the video, I like to have it like a card. And that's what that is. So this is what it looks like. Now that's still kind of boring because it's just sitting there staring at you. So the way to change that is to come over here under the pan and zoom. There are many options that you can choose from. What I like to do if I'm making a simple video like this is to choose this one. This is automatic. So I click on automatic and what that does is it's going to just decide which looks, you know, for the system decides and you don't have to make the decision and it varies it, which is really nice. And if you have 50 pictures in here, you're saving yourself a lot of time because you simply come over here and click apply to all. So now you have those um, pan and zoom for, so all of your images will be moving nicely and smoothly and you don't have to even worry about it because it's also varied. But the next thing we need to do is we only did the transition on the first one. We need to add transitions or animations for the rest of the video. So you'll, if you click on the drop down here, there's all these different ones that you can use. I'm just for simplicity purposes going to choose this one. And again, if you have 50 images and you don't want to go in and do a different transition, plus that can get confusing, you just click on apply to all. So now let's take a quick look at that video. If you notice the pictures are moving and it's not jerky and then it goes to a nice transition into the next one, that's the simplest way to create that effect in Windows Movie Maker. Now for a holiday video, you're probably going to want music or maybe you want to talk over it, but let me show you how to add music. You go over to Home and you click on Add Music. I get a lot of my music, let me show you where that is, from Kevin McLeod in Competech. In Competech. I love his site. He's got a lot of music. You're able to sort by all different ways here. You can sort by, I'm not sure if this is actually the page it has it on. Um, you have to just look through here. But you can sort by feel. You can sort by, sort by length. You can sort by, sort by keyword. Read up on his blog. His, his music is royalty free and he does allow you to use it. But there were some issues with some of his music the way YouTube wanted you to attribute the source. And he tells you very clearly in here, say this, and I believe it's his name and the name of the piece. And if you put that in, you'll be fine. But what I chose is I went in and I sorted by, um, look for a holiday piece. So you come in here and click up, go back to your project in Windows Movie Maker, click on Add Music. And it comes over right here to I have a folder for Kevin because I use a lot of his music. And I believe I chose Deck the Halls. Let's see. Yep. So just click on it. There it is. Now, I don't know about you, but when I make a video or watch a video, if the music just comes blaring in at you, suddenly it's kind of startling. So I like to do a transition or have it fade in and out. So you come up here under Options, the fade in and out. You can choose None, Slow, or Medium. I'm going to choose Medium. And there you go. You have a quick video. 
Now there are other things that you can do with this. You can also add comments and you come back to home and you click on captions and you could put captions. If you see it right here, I'll make it black. You just click inside it and I'll make it black so we can see it because white on white is not showing. And you can say greetings. Oops, let's try that again. Sorry about that. Greetings from the Jones family. And I have the capital O in there. Let's make that a small O. And right now, I'm going to stop the video because you'll see it's not filling up a lot of the screen. If you click on that and come out here into text tools format, that's because I only have it going for 2.08, 2 minutes and 8 seconds or 2 seconds, whatever that is. So what you want to do is you can change that to anything you want. You can change it to 8, you can change it to 20, you can move it around by just putting your cursor on it and moving it around, and just, or you can put it on the end. Whatever it is that you want to do. And it's, it's really very, very simple. You can get complicated with this. You can put different transitions. You can change the color of, of this um, text. You can make it wider by simply dragging on the little drag boxes. You can also, let's, let's make this 33, just because we can. You notice you don't see it all, so just move it up. I mean, it's, it's very, very simple. And you, over here, you can have different text formats. You can have it slide in like that. You can have it plop down, like it does here. And again, that's hard to see. So let's make that, just so we can see it in here. I'm going to see if yellow, does yellow work? Eh, not really. How about red? Yeah, that works. So I'm going to make it bold so, I can, so we can see it. And I want it moved out. It's all just clicking the little arrows and, and doing any, I mean, it's, it's very, very simple. I mean, if I wanted to move that, I would just move it over here. Put your, just put your mouse on it and drag it. And you're done. I mean, you have a little quick little video that you could have pictures of your family and you can make it as simple as possible or get more complicated if you want. But basically, you can make a video in five minutes or less and it would look very impressive. So when you're done with that, you come over to this little icon up here which says Movie Maker. Click on it. Save movie. Recommended for this project. It's going to save it to a Windows um, Media Video file and then you call it whatever you want. I'm not, I already made one so I don't want to recall it over here. I already did one of these. But that's it. That's, then you have a whole movie. You're all done. And it's, it's nice. It's, it's personalized. You might want to put pictures of your family in there and greetings and pick the music again. Make sure that it's music that you can legally use. You can get it from Kevin McLeod. You can get it from Dano.com. Um, he asked for, I believe it's, um, I think it's a $15 uh, donation where you can have access to use all of his works for free. There's also Jewel Beats, which you pay 99 cents for the rights to use one of their music pieces. And as long as you're using everything legally, you can make a really nice video and enjoy it. And I'll take, just show you my video real fast that I did. I was using those images. It's my holiday video. The music I used was my voice, <laughs> my vocal cords. So if you can sing, you can do that too. So here it is. Happy Holidays. And here's the video. There you go. That's it. Happy holidays to everybody. And why don't you try one of these and send it out to your family and friends. I'm sure they'd love it. And instead of using little clip arts, you might want to actually use family members. But happy holidays. Take care.